What's up, guys and gals? It's Goliath here at Garden State Comic Festival, still enjoying the day. We've met so many interesting people, but we need an outside perspective, someone that's not cosplaying, someone who's not a celebrity, just an all-around normal person, because you know what? That's what makes the con the most important thing, the people that just come here to be themselves. They don't need to the cosplay. They don't need to be famous. They just want to come, buy their comic books, buy Floppy Cop, which we're going to talk about, and just enjoy life, because you know what? That's what it's about sometimes, the basic simplicity of everything. And I'm here with... Adam. Hello, Adam. So tell us, what brings you to the Garden State Comic Festival? Like, what brings you to this one con out of all the cons? Otacon, Shotacon, Brodacon, you know, any con. What brings you here? New York got too expensive, and I didn't want to fight scalpers anymore. <laughs> Listen, New York, you need to figure this out. You need to make those scalpers go away. So before you we were talking about, you actually bought some unique comic books I've never heard of called Floppy Cop. Yeah. Explain. Uh, apparently the cop has no spine and it's basically like Mr. Fantastic except he just doesn't go back right. <laughs> Why is that a thing? I don't know. You have to talk to the artist on that one. And you bought it because its name was Floppy Cop or just because you just saw a man with no spine and went, good read. It just sounded funny to me. <laughs> so... From an outside perspective, what do you think as the con as a whole, realistically? Like, because it's only a two-day con, it's usually ten to five, and then ten to six, ten to five on both days. Yeah. Is it the fact that it's a smaller con and a little less abrasive that draws you in, or the fact is that it's just a little bit easier to get around, find things, and so like, what's your all-around feel of the whole thing? More the second, uh, you know, it's cheaper to get in. You don't have to fight the crowds. Um, also, it's a lot of it's what, or at least was, supported by the local stores. I don't know much about that anymore, but at the same time, it's it's more local. You get to know the businesses better. It's not just saying, "Hey, yeah, here's a car, now buy our crap." It's you actually get to know them and want to go right to the store. I can respect that, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to you know, hey, buy our crap. Like, well, maybe sometimes, you know. <laughs> But it's really good that, honestly, that you feel so good about the con itself that, as a whole, it's easier to come, it's easier to hang out, it's easier to goof around, and there's no real, like, like a bigger con. You don't need to dress up. You, you. Yeah, you don't need to, to be an elaborate cosplayer. You could just come, check out the cosplayer. You just ran into a scorpion, did you not? Yes, I did. Did you like it? Yes, I also ran into uh, two Wolverines who got into a fight with each other. I've crossed about six Spider-Man. Uh... I think two black cats and one Captain America. So you're keeping track. He's following you, people. <laughs> okay. But it, it, it's I, I love this con too because I, I've been coming for a few years now and it's slowly gotten bigger. They've slowly uh, gone across the convention center or the uh, uh, I would call this a hockey arena. <laughs> they call it the uh, men in arena. Yes. <laughs> um, so what's something you could tell people to like, draw them into this con? What would like what would you tell them about this con? That's your let's say your top three things about this con that really you know, you could tell people, hey, come check this out. There's like three things. One, it's more affordable than a lot of other conventions. Other ones, the prices are too ridiculous. Number two, it's a lot of it is or at least was supported by local businesses. So the same booths, the same vendors you see at the booths, the stores are going to be around town. So they're not far away. You get to know them better. And the third is, you know, it's you always find something new here. Plus, they got more seating room, so it's not like cramming for a spot on the floor. There's, there's the bleachers, there's tables. It's, it's all around there's, there. Those move around, get, get, be able to find space to sit down and take a nap. Yes. <laughs> well, Adam, I want to thank you so much. The people of ARC Studios want to thank you so much for giving an outside perspective of someone just here to enjoy the con, just relax, and just chillax. So thank you so much, sir. Have a nice day, sir. And thank you guys from ARC Studios, as always. We'll catch you guys next time. Okay.